The quest continues to change Seat into a serious car manufacturer. Indeed, they now hold the title of Europe's fastest growing car maker, and it's probably not too far from the truth. Following Volkswagen's buyout of Seat a few years ago, they've worked hard and continued to reinvent themselves, especially with their products and that all important factor, image. And in the shape of the new Toledo, the image seems to be working, but with a hefty price tag. £260 million pounds worth of development has gone into this car alone, but it shows compared to Seat's of the past, which hardly set the world on fire. These broad front lights which integrate into the grille and that all new Seat badge you'll see on Seat cars of the future. And the exterior of the Toledo seems to bulge in just about all the right places, ensuring it has a very sporty appeal. And Sidon looks remarkably like the new BMW 3 Series. Surely it's not been designed with that in mind. But it has been designed to give you lots and lots of space, particularly if you wanted it as a family car with an enormous boot. But the family sector is not what Seat are aiming after with this car. Technically it's the size of say an Astra or a Focus, but size-wise it goes up against the Ford Mondeo and the Renault Laguna in the business sector. Whether that's a wise policy though remains to be seen. Within that sector, Seat are battling it out with their competitors over safety, claiming unrivaled standards on the Toledo. These include seven onboard safety systems, which basically assist you with braking and keep you pointing in the right direction. You also have four airbags and three three-point seatbelts in the back of the car. Out on the road, the Toledo is actually quite a fun car to drive, ensuring it adheres to the manufacturer's philosophy of enjoy yourself. It shares the same platform as the Audi TT and the Volkswagen Golf. It's all part of VW's philosophy of brands sharing the same platform, but it does seem to work, so you can't quibble with that. The suspension is perhaps a little too hard for my liking and a lot of road noise comes into the cabin and if you're travelling at reasonable speeds over say rough grounds the bumps and the creaks do come into the cabin a bit too much maybe the suspension just needs to lighten up a bit more but apart from that it's really a good drive. Performance is good from this 1.8 litre engine, 0 to 60 time of around 10 seconds and a top speed of 120 miles an hour. But the Toledo to really go for would be that new V5 with its 2.3 litre engine. It's a first for Seat having an engine over 2 litres and having more than 4 cylinders and it's a really cracking unit. Now this new Toledo was developed over the twisting mountain roads in the Catalan region and that's why you get such a good ride with taut and sharp handling, a lovely smooth crisp gear change and a very smooth clutch too. It's an all-round excellent package. Now one of the best things about the new Toledo is the amount of room inside for the passengers both in the rear and here in the front. Lots of space, comfortable seats and also lots of headroom too thanks to that high roof line. And inside you can see these similarities with its bigger brothers, both the Audi A3 and the Golf. Of course, this car shares the same platform as those two from the VW stable. You get the same sort of quality, the same switch gear and controls too. Rather smart cup holders, a quality stereo system, air conditioning, electric windows all round, and these rather smart chrome door handles, which just round it off. Overall, you'd be foolish to think that the Toledo doesn't have a fighting chance with the opposition, and part of this is to do with its competitive pricing. The 1.6 standard mould starts at around £14,200. For this 1.8 20-valve version, priced at around £16,795 on the road, you really don't have to splash out too much more money for the top of the range Toledo either. The V5 2.3 litre is priced at £17,595. And for a change, those extra little luxuries, including climate control and leather seats, come at a reasonable price. 
So overall, we reckon the Toledo is a relatively good car. You get the benefits of German design engineering, quality components from VW and Audi, plus an excellent size of car for this particular class. It also has a very high specification and styling that means it looks better than the likes of the Mondeo and the Laguna. Seat are a manufacturer that are going places. Beware, they mean business.